Hello students, my name is Vibha Sharma. Today we discuss about tissue. Our topic is tissue and you all know tissue is the collection of various types of cell which performs the specific function. It's a group of cell, group of cell or the collection of cell which perform specific function. The term tissue was coined by term tissue was coined by Bickett. Tissue term was given by Bickett scientist and we all know that the branch of biology which deals with the study of tissue is known as the histology. Histology where this histo means Histo means collection of cell that is the tissue and logi, logi word comes from the word logos it means the study. So a branch of science which deals with the study of tissue is known as the histology. Next is in plants and animals tissues are formed but these tissues have different functions on various aspects which are as follows. Suppose uh, the tissues are of two types that is the plant tissue and animal tissues today we discuss about the plant tissues plant tissue plant tissues are mainly because the dead supportive tissues are more abundant in case of the plant tissues well if i'm talking about the animal tissues then living tissues are most common as compared to the dead tissues while plant tissues because they are state plants are static in nature that's why they require less maintenance energy as compared to the animal tissues organizations of the uh, of cells that is the collection of the cells means the tissue organization of tissue is very simple in plant tissues while organization is complex in animal tissues so now if i'm talking about the plant tissue then plant tissue is of two is of two types that is the plant tissues are of two types that is the meristematic tissues and first one that is the meristematic tissues while second one that is the permanent tissue Meristematic tissues are those tissues which have the property of continuously division. Meristematic. Meristematic means continuous division. While permanent means they are not in the state of division. They are incapable of division. Meristematic tissues is again of uh, one more point about the meristematic tissue that the cells are totipotent. Totipotent. Totipotent cells are those cells which have the power to divide continuously and form a mature uh, whole body. Totipotent cells. So, totipotents means. Uh, especially the plant cells have the power of the totipotency compared to the animal cells. They are more totipotent. They have the power to regenerate a new plant or to produce a new plant from single part of the plant. So the cells we said that they are, that they are totipotent. And on this basis, meristematic tissues are again of three types. That is the first is the apical meristem the cells which are present at the apex or at the tip part of the stem is known as the apical meristem and they are responsible for the length of the plant for increasing the length of the plant second category that is the intercalary meristem intercalary Intercalary meristem are found in the on the internodes of the stem. Intercalary means they are found on the internodes of the stem and they are responsible for the 
in for uh, responsible for the increase in the length of the plant c is the apical intercalary calary and lateral meristem lateral meristem which is present in the lateral part of the plant and lateral meristem are, is also called as the secondary meristem which is responsible for increasing the diameter it is responsible for increasing the length and it is responsible for increasing the diameter of the plant means that is the girth it also helps in girth or diameter is one and the same thing so to increase the width of the plant is the main function of the intercalary meristem next is the permanent tissues permanent tissue if i draw a chart of the permanent tissues then permanent tissues which are of two types simple and complex simple means the protective or supporting tissue which are composed of single types of cell while complex means single type of cell while complex is the tissue composed of more than one type of cell more than one type of cell comes in the complex category simple type of tissues is of three subtypes is of is of again of three subtypes that is the complex uh, sorry parenchyma sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma parenchyma are the two, those tissues which are basically responsible for the storage of the storage of the food material in case of simple it is of those type that is it is parenchyma second is the colon chyma and third is the scleren chyma parent chyma basically responsible for the storage colon chyma is basically responsible for providing on uh, the flexibility to the plant suppose if a uh, wind current is wind current is uh, present in the uh, is comes sorry so if the wind current comes then the flexibility due to the presence of the colon chyma it and it giving the gives the flexibility to the plant so the plant do not damage in the case of strong air current and sclerenchyma these are composed of the dead cells so it provides the strength to the plant and in complex these are the conducting tissues and conducting tissues are of two types that is the xylem and phloem first one that is the xylem and second is phloem xylem is water conducting tissue while phloem is a food conducting tissue xylem further consist of four types of cell out xylem is generally a dead dead part only one living part is present in the xylem which is the xylem parenchyma while it consist of vessels tracheids xylem parenchyma xylem parenchyma and xylem sclerenchyma xylem is sclerenchyma only the parenchyma is the living part while most of the tissues are the dead while if i'm talking about phloem then it is generally composed of the living part only sclerenchyma is the dead part and it is composed of sieve cells companion cells phloem sclerenchyma and phloem parenchyma this is the summary to show what we discussed about the tissues in the further chapters now in next time we started the we started the permanent tissues in detail thank you